Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. So tonight on the table, what I have for you is this holster right here. This is a fantastic holster from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I particularly really like this brand of holster. First off, the company is excellent to deal with, very good customer service, and they're just really good, honest, hardworking people. And I appreciate that. Now, about the holster, again, there are probably people out there that look at this holster and say, uh, you know, maybe it's not for me. I'm not exactly sure that this clip is going to hold. I would tell you that this type of holster for me has carried several guns. Um, you know, I have one for my P10. I have several up there, uh, one for the PPQ. I have one for my Steyr. Um, so I've carried a multiple or multiple different guns for these types of holsters. And I would tell you that I've never had any issues with that. A lot of people say that this clip will make it move around a little too much again i've never had any movement of the holster when it's cinched down with a good belt and again i would also tell you that you know a lot of people talk about the clip the clip the clip but i would also tell you to talk about the belt the belt the belt uh, the belt has as much to do with carrying a good holster as anything else um, and in my opinion if you have a good belt and you have a good clip the holster's not going to go anywhere and in this case never had a problem with these types of clips or this holster in particular now, there are a lot of good features of the holster. you got plenty of retention, uh, nice fit and finish, good feel with the gun uh, on your hip, or depending on where you carry it, you can get appendix carries, that type of stuff. But overall, it's a very, very comfortable holster. So I'm going to take this on the table. I'm going to show you up close just some of the features of it. And then at the end, you can tell me what you think about it. Do you like hidden hybrid holsters? Do you have any experience with them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Why? Why not? And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'll also put a link down below so you can take a look at their website and maybe, you know, give it a try and see what you think but overall good stuff so let's go to the table and see what i'm talking about all right welcome back to the table so as you can see guys this is my new hidden hybrid holster for the spo1 phantom and uh, like i said one of the things i wanted to make sure before i you know did this review carry it a few days see what i thought about it overall to see if it actually was able to conceal this handgun now obviously the spo1 phantom is a pretty big boy um it is definitely one of the bigger guns that I own. Uh, it is a full-size gun, but ultimately it really carries nicely. It's a lightweight big gun, and I think that's what the big benefit of the handgun is. Now, of course, I've been carrying it with this magazine. This is the extended magazine that it came with. Unfortunately, it had to be pinned, so I cannot use it with its full capacity, only 10 rounds, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I wanted to test the, the, uh, the long magazine out to see if I could carry with it without you know, really feeling like that gun was sticking out. Now, the gun is safety checked. It is clear. So let's not worry about that. Okay. Now, overall fit and finish. Let's take a look at the holster. As you can see, this is the OD green that they sent me with the black leather, which is really nice combination. Again, I really like nice looking holsters. I know a lot of people say, what's the big deal if you're going to be carrying it inside the waistband? But you know what? Uh, it's like anything else. It's about preference. And I actually enjoy carrying this holster uh, because of the way it looks and how comfortable it is. So those two do work hand in hand, at least for me. Now, in regards to the holster, again, you can see you have these little rivets here that hold the Kydex in place, and they do a really nice job. You're not going to feel these pressing up against your body at all. I mean, it's, they're basically invisible. Now, of course, you have your points of retention. You do have this area here, and you also have another retention right there. So if you feel like the gun is a little sloppy in the holster, by all means, you can adjust that. Now, these two right here are really just dealing with the uh, attachment of the clip. Uh, in no way, shape, or form does this uh, affect any of the retention, at least not that I'm aware of. But overall, it's never been a problem for me. Now, in regards to the fit and finish of the gun, it doesn't have the loudest click in, which I know a lot of people do like as a feature for a holster. But again, keep in mind, it is a hybrid holster, so you don't have that Kydex backing that's really going to cinch down on it and lock it in place. Now, some people complain, well, to them, they, they feel that that's an unsafe holster. But uh, honestly, guys, I, I don't agree with that. I think it's still a very safe holster for the simple fact that unless you're tumbling down a hill, maybe jumping and rolling out of a moving car, I really don't see this gun even moving. Now, of course, if you do, if you do move it, you're going to lose the gun. It's just, in my opinion, this is the way a hybrid holster works. Again, it's going to be focusing on having that solid kydex shell on the exterior but on the interior you've got that soft backing and really what's holding it in place is just the tension that you have it against your body and of course with the belt so you know i would not necessarily say that's the only thing you should be looking at for a holster of this particular type now of course for a kydex holster it's a little bit different and i'll show you really quick what i mean by that so with the kydex what you're seeing here is you got a basically a a shell and you want to make sure that when you have that gun in that shell you get a nice 
solid retention. Okay. And because you're getting Kydex, it's different. Why? Because you're getting two solid pieces with the hybrid. You're not getting that. You're getting a soft backing and a solid front. So as a result, you do want this to form to the gun, but at the same time, you can't rely it to click on place in a flat piece of leather. It's just not going to happen. So instead of always worrying about that click sound, what you need to worry about is making sure that that gun doesn't move inside that shell because once this attaches to your body, you're not going to have any problems because that tension or I should say that um, that retention is actually coming from your body and you putting pressure on that gun in this shell. So from that standpoint, I don't think you need to really look into that that much. Now, of course, some of you will say that's not true. It's unsafe. But again, to each their own. If that's your opinion, great. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But in my experience using these holsters, and in my opinion, it's not a deal breaker. Again, the clip is one single clip, and it is cantable. This is probably canted about uh, maybe a little bit past 10 degrees. Uh, not fully 15, but definitely 10, if not a little bit more than that. Again, it fits really nice. You've got the suede backing. You've got your retention holes here. And again, you've got your nice rigid kydex on the exterior. The leather breaks in very nicely. As a matter of fact, I do want to show you, if I can find it, there it is. This was a holster that I had for my Steyr, and you can see that the leather has broken in very nicely. And I will tell you, as these begin to break in, they're going to actually feel even more solid, especially when it hugs your body and begins to form to your body. Again, this is for my P10. Uh, again, this one's breaking in very nicely as well, and it's the same exact thing. Now, neither one of these holsters has moved when they've been cinched down on my, my belt. Now, the belts I use, I use Core Essentials belts, I use a $30 gun belt, and I also use, of course, the Vetter belts. Now, which is the best? Eh, that's up to you. I like all three of them. I would tell you that I wear the Core Essential probably the most. And uh, again, have never had any problems with guns including this one of this size moving around on me. So that's just something, uh, you know, to share with you. Now, the last thing I want to show you is something else they, they sent to me here. And uh, this is kind of new. I've never had one of these uh, from them. And this is their mag holder. And you can see it's got two steel clips, which is kind of nice. Okay. Um, and again, you've got your single holder and the same thing. So you have these little rivets on the back. Again, they don't, you don't feel them when they're on your body. And, uh, you know, you've got that nice suede backing, which causes that friction against whatever you're wearing. So you're not going to feel that sliding. And of course, it's got the leather. So, I mean, how does it fit? Let's see if I can get it in there. I don't know. I haven't tested it out with this yet. There you go. Fits fine. No issues, nothing. I mean, it fits perfectly. You know, you can cinch it down, you can retention, uh, tighten the retention down to cinch it down even further if you choose to, but it fits really well. So, I mean, overall, Hidden Hybrid Holsters, guys, does a great job with their holsters. It is definitely something that I would totally recommend you guys checking out because they do a really nice job with what they're doing, especially with the type of quality holsters they're making. Again, it's going to be totally up to you. I can't convince you one way or another, but to be honest with you, I've worn several of them and uh, I continue to wear them. And the simple reason is, is because they work. So check them out. Tell me what you think about them. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Uh, again, I'll put a link to the uh, website down below so you guys can check them out. And if you have any questions, contact them. They're very cool people to deal with. Uh, and they're very fast with responding. Again, they have different Kydex colors. So you can see the OD green, the FDE, and the black. I believe they also have like a Tiffany blue. And I think they also have a gray. Um, and maybe some carbon fiber, but I'm not exactly sure. And of course, the leather backings, they do have brown and they have black. So that's pretty awesome as well. So again, check them out. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up would always be appreciated. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're almost at 4,000. I'd like to try to reach that as soon as possible. So I can only do that with your help. So I hope you have a great night. Stay safe out there. And as always, freedom is never free.